This is Baruch Fleischman. I'm back from the uh, my travels. I was in Montana for a few days, attending a wedding. Managed to get back safely, but just a little bit of bronchitis I'm nursing around here in in South Florida. So what's going on? This is the inauguration of a, of a new Zaman here <clears throat> at the Dugan Elevator Colo. And we've got our our uh, on the screen here. I have our our the image that we want to portray here of the rising of the elevator from the earth itself, from connected to the earth itself, to that unbelievable place beyond the ability to rise all up to that in area and perfect, and perfect a, a yichud, something we talked about this morning uh, in the Shia and the Arim. So we're going to be looking at trying to understand more deeply uh, what actually is being affected, how it affects, what is the effect of our prayers. And of course, we're learning Sharkovanos. So here we are in the crowd of Sharkovanos. We've been learning in the Gavanos of, of, of the Kriyashima. Now, the basic background that I can remember from what we've been learning is, is that according to, uh, there are four different times we say Kriya Shema. And according to the amount of load of Katniss that is offered up on this elevator right up to the top, that is the amount of Shefa that will come down. And specifically, he talked about different four different places that the Shefa could have its origin. Now, it's all the Shefa always, always comes to the ends of Baruch but on the other hand, it's somehow the wrapping, the, the clothing of it. Uh, it really depends on the station in which it stops. It picks up like nests in a certain place. It picks up that atmosphere over there, which is like a labush. So here we are. We're in Kriya Shema, and we'll be learning and working on it a little bit. The idea here is I do follow the pattern. As much as I can, the Rebbe Nachman ben Fege, he said that, that we should just keep learning and keep going forward. If you didn't understand what you said in this world, even if you try it three or four times, it still doesn't come through 100%. Uh, Hashem will bring it to you in the next world. You'll see it so clearly. So here's what I think that we should start uh, over here, number Kaf Bet, number Kaf Bet over here. And what we do in the pattern is... <clears throat> Excuse me. He says, he says, the pattern that we're going to use is going to be, these are the words of the Ari HaKodesh. And uh, these are the concepts that he wants to teach us. There's a lot of different kinds of language that we have to learn along the way, and we'll try to uh, flesh it out as much as possible. But this is the words that the Ari himself has told to Rabbi Chaim Vital. Then after that, we have a pirush, uh, which is called the tith. Well, there's a time to talk about the tith, which I really don't know much to say about it, except that I really like the pirush. Well, we just read the pirush along, and what he does, he re-explains it, or he says it again. And then he brings you to a higher level to be able to see a little bit more into the inside by wrapping it around in some ideas. So let's see uh, what we can learn. I'm not telling you that I'm an expert in this by any means. So when you have the morning Kriya Shema, when you say the word Yisrael, we had mentioned before previously that Yisrael is like a magic word. Uh, so has already come into him all the Mohan of Kadmas. Now this is like a, a springboard. So that is that the Kriya Shema is a springboard and what it can do depending on the weight of what is loaded into it. So if you come to the Kriya Shema at Chakras, then that's going to be the greatest weight there and it's going to be able to bring down tremendous amount of Shapa. So even the Makifin, that is the highest level that come from Abba Abba, which is Chachma. V'zuhu tosefes ha'arah ha'nitenes lo. So this is an additional amount of radiance, honey tennis love that is given to him, as Yisrael. 
So you see that you have this additional amount that is all of the mochin of cadmus are in. It's a big weight. It's going to really push down this this uh, this springboard. Zuhi tosefes ha'arach ha'netenes lo al b'milus Yisrael. When you say that magic world Yisrael, this is going to bring down everything. Kadesha achakach yuchla alos man because what happens is and man is another word for the spring the springboard. But in Kabbalah, from the bottom to the top is lush and nook. It's female. And so from the top to the bottom is the flow of male. So Mayim Nuchven is called the female waters. That means waters that are going upwards. And you think of the drawing of the Tikkun elevator, and you'll get an idea there. So he says, When that's when the ultimate spring is sprung. In order to be able to bring in at that Kriya Shema, the six Mochen of Kabbalah uh, 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 that we have from the Vok of Ima. Those are Mochen of Kabbalah from the Vok of Ima. Let's see what the Tiv has here to try to help me out, try to understand this better. He says, "Agam shala ashala alos laman mas beik shiyah lezav rak hamochin that sell him the email b'shlemos habenim yivamakiv." So I'm not sure what he's saying. So let's let me translate and read on. He says, "Whereas shalal la alos laman." So if you want to bring up man, mas beik is enough shiyah lezav. So that Zah should have Rak HaMochin to tell him the Ima B'Shlema. So that all he really needs is the Mochin for the side of Ima, the complete Mochin for the side of Ima, and then he can be Ma'alamal. But he says it has to be also the, the Benimi and the Maki. Zem Mochrach Lo Behechrach. So it has to be like that. The the Beli had tell him the Ima, he asked Lo La'alos Laman, because if he didn't have that part of Ima, it makes it possible he wouldn't be able to have the energy the spring, the, the, the spring, the sprung, the spring, the spring, the spring, the spring, the spring, the spring, the spring. The spring, the spring. But the Kriya Shema that he called originally, the Rav called the of Chakras, he means the one of Yotzer. When you say the the word Yisroel, this has already come into Zerandra. Gam called Solomon the Kantas the Abba Bishlema. So he now has at this point he has because the 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 Mochin that originally came into Ima they're now coming from came came from Ima, they now coming from Abba as well. So so now you have a bigger amount in the spring. The already received that because of the fact that it was offered up previously in the earlier part of when we said the Karbanos, the Shabbat Shemab Karbanos, it brought a whole lot of Shefa down. But that Shefa was only able to go up so high because it started out with a minimum amount of, uh, of Mohanikatnas. But now all the Mohanikatnas are in. So he's even including Avab. Avida Hamakiv the Abba the Nimsa Shukuma Alaman the Kat is a Gamri. The Lakay. Koho Chazak Maod. So therefore its power is tremendously powerful. Shemakaba Lashisha Kitzbos the Godless the Emo mean Gitsonius Atik because now it's able to bring down the light from the very highest place. The Zilham Allah Yosu Gadoila, so that is the highest level. We this is a repeat of some of the idea that we saw before is, is that the more you have in Mohan Dekatnas, then is the higher place, highest place, the highest place is the Kitsonia Safatik. The next highest place is the Benimias of Arich. The next highest place is the Kitsonias of Arich. And the fourth highest place is the Kitsonias of Abba the Ima. Let's not explain why there's no Kitsonia Benimias there first. He said the Rab didn't explain it. So at any rate, depending on the load that's going up, that's what's coming down. And that's the main thing that one has to, one has to know about the Kriya Shema. What the Kriya Shema does is it offers of Mohan de Kadnos and brings down Mohan de Godless. Where the Mohan de Godless originates and where it comes from is a very important part of all of this.
Well, let's read a little bit more, and let's see if we can read this other one here from the Rav on number Kof Gimel. He says, Gavar um, Be'arno, so we've already explained the drush of the creation of the Yotzer. He lo'olam, that the actual fact is, it's impossible that Zah that should ever be in a position where he's lacking all of the Mokhadakatas. Because what do we know here? It has to be that he has to have at least, let me get this down a little bit lower. Okay. Uh, that will never ever leave him. Lo beyond the lo belayla. So minimum than that, he has to have now. This is like a pasha or saying this is how it goes. He said, which is the not the makif, but it's just the it's the it's the benimia minimum. Lo yistalku klal mimenda lo edem. He never should leave. Will never leave zah. No beyond the lobe lighter, not during the day, then I'm only sleeping. The Shiba Hekwa Sarcha Shatehiya Lo Azer Bechina Shal Mochen, because he always has their unpen, always has to have some pulse. We have some have some mochin within it. Kadeshi is kind behem to keep him alive. Kam mochim heim heim kyus bikim the other because that's what he means is the definition now the Rav says. What are mochim? So if you want to know what makes you breathe, that's mochim. What makes the whole apparatus work is a mochim. They keep us going. And the secret on that is that, that in the secret of chachma, there's where you find the life force of the master. Of her master. Now, exactly what that means, I'm not sure. Let's look over here in number 23, and this will be our reading for today. And we'll try to get better at this, because I've been cold here. I'm trying to do my best uh, to get better at it. So the command, so later on, Bir HaRav Sha'achre HaChurban, and after the Churban device, Mestalka the Mochen Mezah, the the Mochen left Zah. The whole thing that we're trying to do is bringing Mochim back into Zohar So whereas we see, okay, the Mochim leaves out. The call Mochim leaves Talkin the Gamri Mamash. But that doesn't mean they really 100% left them. They really completely were gone. So there has to be a masha, some small amount that's going to remain over there. It's because he says like the the mochen the benim the katnas of ima. That nishar ba vehechrach. It has to be there. So this is the minimum amount of pulse that he would receive from ima. Never leaves him a pirusho who. So here's an explanation. So how many za yesh mochin nekatnas? Yeah, za has mochin nekatnas because za is only six kitzvays. Who mochin negadlas? But then can enter into him mochin negadlas, so he has both. Hey mitzad abba, that is the mochin negadlas of abba. Hey mitzad iba, and also mochin negadlas amim. So each one of them has a penimi in the market. I mean, there's a lots of parts. So there are times when Zav has all the inner and outer workings, that is the, the Oros penimi and the Oros Makifim, all of that of both Abba Ve'ima, and he says that you have this these oros which are benimi and makif, uh, also of the of the kadnas, and the kadnas and the gadlos. So there are times when he has all of these. But there are other times when both of them leave. That is the slum and the gadlos, the abba the ima the gamri, and they they leave completely. And then also you could have a situation where the Salam of Katniss leaves out. 
And all that's left is the is the Maki Favima of Kadnas. Of Al Hasadi the Kadnas the Ima. So let me see if I read that right. The Chaim Mistala Katzalam the Kadnas the Abba. The Mistalik Rak Halamad Mem the Kadnas the Ima. And the only thing that leaves from Ima, that's the bright translation, is the Lamad Mem, which are the Makifim. What's left? Of Al Hasadi the Kadnas, but of the Tzalam, all that's left is the Tzadik. It never ever leaves Zamaza. Now let's read a little bit more. There's just a little bit more here. It says the Khatam Lama Khatsadi the Kat is the Ima Mukwil the Hishar Baza. So the reason why it has to remain in Za. That is that Sadi. Kevin Shah Mochim Haim Hughes Vakima Adam, it's because the Mochim are the life force. And the sustenance of the body. If you don't have mochim, e after the chios. I need a little work on that bronchitis. The Moshe calls it a chachma to chayev ba'alech, or like we have the chachma really brings life into that he who possesses it. Pirush k'shayesh mochim. So he says this is the other one I want to tell you. When there are mochim. As the chaya is balechu, it will bring life to those who possess it. So when there's no mochin, then you could see what can happen. So therefore, you see like this that the the the, the lowest level of mochin, which is the mochin. Not the not the makifim, but the benimim. That is the light on the inside, which is a lesser light. The katnas, but the stage of katnas, not gatlas. The ima only the ima, but not the abba. Mukrov the yisharibo. That has to remain. That is that mochim a benimim. The katnas, the ima has to remain there. Kadeshi is kaim ba pasuk, in order to be able to fulfill this pasuk ba chachma to chayes ba lecho, that the chachma brings life into those who possess it. That's where we're going to stop today in this year. It's the year of the, actually, this is the beginning of the ninth day of uh, the month of Mar Cheshvan.